Despite being snubbed by the royal family, Harry and Meghan are determined to hog the limelight this Christmas by insisting on spending it at London's Soho farmhouse. The royal's rejection was not just a run-of-the-mill snub, it was a brutal public dismissal. Just a day after an article in the Sunday Times mentioned that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle would very much like to be invited to join the royals at Sandringham for Christmas, the official guest list found its way into the hands of Eve Com. Surprise, surprise, Harry and Meghan's names were conspicuously absent. A friend of King Charles shared some insider information with the Daily Beast, stating that Charles and his team were never going to cave to any pressure to invite Harry and Meghan. If an invitation were to be extended, it would be on Charles's terms and carefully considered. Rumors are swirling that they might be invited for New Year at Balmoral, possibly stemming from the efforts of Harry and Meghan's PR agency. What adds fuel to this royal fire is that less than a year ago, Harry published his tell-all book, Spare, in which he referred to Prince William as his arch-nemesis, accused him and Kate Middleton of belittling him and Meghan, and spilled the beans on private conversations. He even said that Queen Camilla had sacrificed him on a personal PR altar and painted the king as weak, facilitating, and selfish. As a friend of Williams bluntly put it, would you want to sit down for a slap-up Christmas lunch with someone who basically called you an expletive in public? Even if Charles entertained the idea of inviting Harry and Meghan, William, and Kate would never willingly sign up for such total humiliation. Despite the snub, a source has revealed that the couple still insists on heading to the UK for Christmas without an official invitation. Meghan has been described as increasingly snappy and has urged Harry to take matters into his own hands, including making a solo trip to talk to Charles and William to salvage their connection with the royal family. It's worth noting that even though they aren't invited to Sandringham, Harry and Meghan intend to travel to the UK for Christmas, hoping to dominate the headlines. This plan comes with a price tag, though, as they'll have to foot the bill for their own accommodation and security. They need to have a residence and apply for security approval from the British government a month in advance. Many are speculating whether they will strategically time their arrival to coincide with Kate's Christmas carol service. If they choose to stay at Soho Farmhouse, which Meghan adores and they previously rented after their marriage, the dynamics change entirely. Christmas at the farmhouse would draw a crowd, and the sight of Harry and Meghan, surrounded by people celebrating, could be a PR coup for them. As for Marcus, he's become part of the family and has invested a substantial amount of time and effort supporting the Harkles. It's unlikely that he'll bail on them now. However, if the Harkles crash Christmas and leave their children behind, it could potentially expose them as hypocrites to the rest of the world. After all, what kind of parents choose to spend Christmas away from their children?